everyone, so I didn't know how much of a problem I had until I looked at this. I just pulled all of these out of my drawers. Today I'm going to finally, finally, finally do my, well, the first one of my collection videos. I'm going to list my makeup collection video down below. Watch that first if you haven't seen it yet. I am incredibly proud of my makeup collection. By no means does anyone in the in the planet, on the planet, need this much makeup. But YOLO. Makeup is my passion. I buy a lot of it. I get sent a lot of it. It's what I live and breathe. My job is with makeup. Like, I just, I love makeup. So I have a massive collection. So let's just get that out of the way. I'm not trying to brag or anything. Loads of you wanted to see, like, in-depth mini collection videos. So today I'm going to do my highlighter collection. So I decided to start with highlighters because highlighters are my favourite makeup product in the world currently anyway i always go through phases like sometimes i'm all about the lipstick sometimes i'm all about the blush i actually remembered that i was supposed to do this when i watched kathleen lights's one she did one on her bronzers i was like oh yeah i was supposed to do something like this so she sparked my inspiration enough rambling i'm so sorry for the long intro i hate long intros <laughs> let's start with these babies these are the new ColourPop highlighters and i haven't actually used them yet i've only swatched them and they look gorgeous so i can't wait to try them out this first one here is called stole the show it's basically just a really beautiful light kind of golden yellow so if I swatch on my hand, you can see, of course, the lighting's not going to be the best today. Next up, we have Monster, and this is a pale pink, and it's got pink glittery reflex to it. It's actually really beautiful. I'm looking forward to trying this out in a video. It's almost like a duochrome, like, reflective finish. It doesn't give you much color. It just packs on that, like, pink glitter. I think it's quite unique. Next up is Wisp, and this is a pale kind of golden bronze color that's what it looks like on my hand i will do close-ups of all the swatches and everything um in one second just so you can see them all close up feel free to give me any constructive criticism with these videos as well like how they could be better because i know that this video is going to be exhausting this one here is called lunch money and this one i reckon is going to be my favorite it's basically just a really pale kind of beige champagne color and it leaves the most beautiful champagne finish next up we have hippo and this is a really pale lavender color which is quite cool quite unique and it also has like tiny little specks of shimmer in it but they're a lot smaller than some of the other ones, like in that pink one. They're really, really fine glitters. And then the last one I have here is called Smoking Whistles. And this one is a really soft kind of pinky champagne color. And there goes the lighting again. You can actually see the swatch is better there though. So here is how all of those colors look swatched close up. So you can see how they all grab the light and the kind of reflect to them. They're really, really pretty. The bronze one would definitely be better for like darker skin tones. Or if you were like me and like had a more fair skin tone, it would look really nice to sweat over your actual cheeks, like as a blush instead. Next up, I might do a few of my like liquid highlighters. This one here is super popular. It's called High Beam by Benefit. I don't really reach for this that often just because I feel like it can go a little bit streaky on my face. I don't know how to prevent that. Like maybe I need to apply it in a different way or something. I usually just use my is but it kind of like it just doesn't apply the best on me it's a really beautiful color though it's just a really nice light kind of pinky champagne and then I also have one by Stila this is the all over shimmer liquid luminizer in the shade kitten and I like to use this mixed in with my foundation it is such a beautiful kind of like bronze illuminating glow and they both blend out really 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 pretty but yeah the top one just kind of goes patchy on my actual skin who knows why? So yeah, that's how those two look in the light. I have some other liquid illuminizers. This one here is called NARS Copacabana Illuminator. I love this on its own or as a primer or mixed in with my foundation. It's just a really nice kind of light pinky champagne glow again, similar to that Benefit product. Except this one I find is more opaque, more shimmery and it definitely goes on smoother. I also have this one here which I haven't used before. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam. And actually this is a pretty damn close dupe. If you can see that, they literally look the exact same. I would just say that the NARS one has a little bit more um, shim not shimmer, like a bit more like reflection to it. I also have this one by Inica. This is called the Light Reflect Highlighting Cream. I would describe this one as the perfect balance between pink and gold. So it's very, very similar to that NARS color, except it's got a little bit more gold to it. Here's a little bit of a close up of those three. So that one there is the NARS, that is the NYX, and then that is the Inica. I have one more kind of liquid illuminator. This one is Lilac Petal by ALF. 
their shimmering facial whip and I haven't actually used this particular one but I used to use this all the time back in the day. It's actually a really great product for a really cheap price. I would say the difference between this one and the others is the formula is a lot thicker. It almost feels like a lip gloss. It's quite sticky and tacky but the colour is really really pretty. It's just a really pale kind of pink um, illuminating reflective shade. Okay I love stick highlighters. This one here, let me swatch first. This is my favorite one. It's called What's Up by Benefit. It's probably my favorite Benefit product. The color is just amazing. And the thing I love about this is you can apply it on top of your powder and it doesn't make your powder go all like chunky and cakey looking. If the weather could cooperate right now, that would be great. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a slightly darker champagne. Um, it's not super, super, super pale. It's just like the perfect tone. I feel like this would suit anyone with like light to medium skin to tan skin really really well. It is just so pretty. I even use it in my inner corners sometimes. The next one I have here is the 3 Concept Eye Shimmer Stick. That's the colour just there. It's not as shimmery. It's more of like a satin kind of finish. Um, so if you don't like that super 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 like shimmery glowy look, um, this one might be better. It's a really nice golden kind of tan shade. And then the other one I have here is super new. Um, I only got this like a few weeks ago. This is the, where is it? This is the Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Luminizing Wand. And this is just a really pretty champagne shade. It's actually very similar to that 3 Concept Eyes one, except it's a little bit more pink rather than gold. Here's a close up. So that is the Benefit and then the 3 Concept Eyes. And then the Josie Moran. Next I'm going to show you a few of my powder, like loose powder highlights. I love these. I discovered these through Instagram. I think his username's like Mac Daddy. He created these and they're Artist Couture. So Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder is what they're called. And this one here is in the shade Gold Digger. These are phenomenal. They are so reflective. Like they are a lot more reflective than my pressed powders. So you can even see like just in there they're so reflective. So yeah, this is Gold Digger and you can just see that reflect to it. So pretty. If my swatches are kind of useless, don't forget you can just look up swatches online as well. There'll be tons on Google Images. Next up we have Lickable, and this is the only one I haven't actually used before. It is a deeper bronze kind of highlight, so definitely good for people that have a deeper skin tone. Or if you are tan or pale, really, really good just to sweep kind of over the cheek area for a bronze look. Next up we have Double Take. This is one of my favorites. It's a really pale pink with slight golden reflex, like really fine golden reflex. I hope you can see that, it is so beautiful. It kind of shows up as like a golden pink on the top of your cheeks. It is so pretty and it looks so good with bronzed makeup. Next up we have Yas. I love the name of this one. This is a pink and again it has like slight golden reflex but it's a little bit less peach than the last one. So that is Yas down the bottom. It's a little bit more metallic as well, like it's a little bit more reflective than some of the other ones. Oh jokes, I haven't used this one either. This is... Did that just happen? Hey Mesh! Can you come here and bring a towel? My highlighter exploded on me. Did you do it on camera? <laughs> yes. And in my hair. There you go. Thank you. So now there is glitter like flying around as you can see. This is why I have trust issues. So the packaging on this one is not that great. Let's be honest. Let's be real here. <sighs> I managed to save like half of it though. So that is conceited. It's a little bit um, paler than that other dark shade. But yeah, probably not the best for super fair skin. The last diamond glow powder I actually used on a shoot a little while ago because the shoot was like quite futuristic. Um, this one is called Mermaid Fantasy. Yeah, Mermaid Fantasy. It is a white with a blue reflect. So it just leaves the coolest effect on your skin. It's kind of like blue and green. So if you love to wear like quite out there makeup, this is such a fun one to use. I actually like loved it. So that's how they all look close up. The other loose powder one I have is by Shiro Cosmetics. I haven't really used this brand before and it's a blush in the shade Kurago. But it's definitely not a blush, it's definitely a highlight shade. It's a really nice light reflective pink. I think it's so pretty, so simple. Let's watch this one here. This is the Sunlight Trio Blush Highlight and Bronzer by City Color. Super dirt cheap off Beauty Joint. I just see a lot of YouTubers using this highlight shade, so I wanted to pick it up. I haven't used it on my face yet. I think it would definitely be better for tan skin or me when I've got like a ton of fake tan on. At the moment I've got like the remnants of last week's tan on. That's how it looks. It's so pretty and really, really, really nice and finely milled and not chunky and it feels like really good quality. So that's always nice when you find a really cheap one. 
that works well. On the topic of cheap, here's another really affordable one. This one is by e.l.f. and this is in the shade Pink Tastic and I love this. It's such a pretty colour. I find you just have to use a little bit more product um, of the e.l.f. one just to get the same kind of payoff because it's not as pigmented but it's definitely buildable and you get there in the end. So it's really, really worth it, especially for the price. And then I have two Three Concept Eyes highlighters. These are amaze balls. Like, I love them so much. Three Concept Eyes, I believe, is a Korean brand. This here is their gold pink highlighter. It's just called the gold pink highlighter. And as the name would suggest, it is a golden pink shade. It is so beautiful. It's one of my favorites. I'll let you know throughout the video which are my favorites. Another one that is definitely a favorite this is Bling Peach. This is the marble highlighter. It's really pretty in the packaging and it kind of reminds me of like a mineralized skin finish by MAC. Um, but that is the color. It's a little bit more pinky tan compared to the last one. So that's how they look on my hand. You can definitely see some of them are more reflective than the others, but it just depends what kind of look you want to go for. I know not everyone likes that super shimmery look. Some people like more of a matte highlight, which I have the ultimate matte one. I'll show you soon. This one here, the ultimate matte highlight if you don't like shimmer. This is Laura Mercier and this is called Highlight 01 in their Matte Radiance Baked Powder. Such a mouthful, sorry. I'm blinding you. <laughs> this is basically just a matte highlighter, but it still gives you that really beautiful glow if you can see. I've used this in a couple of tutorials. I wouldn't say it's like completely matte, it's more of a satin finish, so it still gives you that glow, but it's a lot more subtle while still looking highlighted, if that makes sense. Again, this is one of my favorites. I think it's so pretty, especially if you're like fair. I feel like this one wouldn't be as intense on your skin tone. Another matte highlighter, this is the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter Duo in French Vanilla and Portofino. So this side, whoop, this side here is shimmery and then this side is matte. So the matte shade, I'll swatch first. That's what the matte shade looks like. And then the shimmery shade is so pretty. Or you can mix them both together and you get a nice kind of in between. So that's what that one looks like. This is definitely super beautiful. I haven't actually used this very often. I've owned it for like a few months now, but I don't know, I just haven't really used it. I'll definitely make a note to use it in a video for you guys. So that's how those ones look. That is the Laura Gala and then that is the Laura Messier. Next I'm going to show you some of my cream highlighters, like the ones that are like hard creams. This one here is the It Cosmetics Hello Light Cream Illuminator. I haven't used this very often. I don't know why, I just don't really reach for it very often. Cream illuminators are great for a natural look, or if you are all about the highlighting game, you can layer them with a powder. So that is what that one looks like. So you can see it's quite subtle, and you can just blend that into your cheekbones and it just creates a really natural kind of glow. Next up, I have one that I should probably throw out soon because I've owned it for years. This is the Gemma Kid Makeup School Iced Gold Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream. And I bought this years ago because of Tanya Burr. Like, I idolize Tanya Burr. She is amazing. And she used to use this all the time, I think. Let's hope I'm not like imagining things. To be honest, this is almost identical to the Ig Cosmetics one. The only difference is the Gemma Kid probably has more of a glow. It's a little bit more intense. Next up, I have one that is fairly new. I haven't used it yet. I've only swatched it. This is the Becca Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured. So it's the cream version because I love the pressed ones. I'll show you them soon. That's what that one looks like. It's a really nice kind of soft bronze shade. You blend it out and it looks a lot less intense as well. So depending on what intensity you want, you can definitely layer it up and get more color. This one here is by Vincent Longo. It's called Mermaid Muse and it is his Water Canvas Highlighter Cream to Powder Formula. So this one is supposed to set by itself. However, I usually always layer my cream highlighters with a powder just because I like a really intense glow. So this one is a little bit more pink. Super reflective and this is so creamy like the Water Canvas description. It really does feel like water on your finger. Like when you swatch it, it feels like water. It's really bizarre. And then my babies, my cream color bases by MAC. These are definitely one of my favorite MAC products. Um, the good thing about these is you can apply them on top of your powder and it doesn't disrupt the powder underneath. So you can use them on like creams, you can use it on your liquids, you can use it on your powders. It's really, really versatile. This one here is in the shade Hush. And I apply these with a duo fiber brush. So that's what Hush looks like. Very similar to the Vincent Longo shade. This next one here is called Pearl. And this one is a really beautiful pearl shade. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorites. Like, can you see how intense that is? It is so beautiful. Next is one of my favorites as well. This is called Shell, and it is a little bit more of a pink, but it reflects down to like a really nice kind of champagne shimmery color. So depending on what angle you hit the light, it's like pink or it's champagne. And then the next shade is Luna, and this is a white 
but obviously it's not going to come off as white on your face. You blend it out really well and it's just a really nice light kind of reflective, I don't even know what. So that is all of those ones there, super super pretty. I have one more creamy one, this is the Illa Masca Gleam Highlighter in Aurora and this is super super pretty. This one's probably the most lightweight, um, it feels like nothing when you apply it and you can really layer it up and build it up and get a really pretty look. I find that this one kind of gives you that wet look. It doesn't really look like much color, it just gives you a really nice sheen to your face. So that is that one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch my Shimmering Skin Perfectors by Becca. So these are the pressed powders. This one here is called Moonstone and this is really, really good for more fair skin tones. Um, if I swatch it, you can see it's just a really pale kind of champagne gold. It is so pretty, I love this one. And then if you are a little bit more tan rather than fair, Opal is the next shade up. It's just a really pretty kind of similar shade except a little bit more bronzy. So that is Opal there. So Moonstone Opal. And then we have Champagne Gold. I haven't used this yet but I really really want to. I think it's going to look so cool. I've just got to find like the right makeup look to kind of pair it up with. Otherwise if you have tan to deeper skin tones this will look beautiful. That's what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see on my skin tone. And then the last one I have is called Rose Gold and this is so pretty like dusted really lightly over top of blush. Otherwise if you have deeper skin you could use it as a highlighter on its own but for me it's like quite dark. It looks so 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 good just like dusted over the cheeks as I said. Now I'm going to quickly show you La Masca. This is their Sculpting Powder Duo um, and it's in the shade Lumos and Heliopolis. So the highlight shade I just had to show you. It's so pretty. I need to use this more often because I don't really reach for it very often. It's a really pale reflective pink but it is just the most reflective beautiful color ever. You can see that reflection that it gives. This highlighter here is probably my favorite at the moment. You would have seen this all over YouTube. I've been using this for so long and you can see like you can still see the engravement things on it. The stuff like the smallest amount goes the longest way. I've literally used this so much. You wouldn't even believe me if you just looked at the pan. But anyway, the highlight shade I'll swatch for you. This highlight shade is like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It is just such a natural color. It's like the perfect amount of like beige and gold and pink and champagne. It's just so beautiful. This one here looks really strange. If you watched my recent favorites video, you'll know that it is a highlighter, even though it doesn't look like one. It's called the Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer by Too Faced. But when you actually like mix all of the shades together and apply them, you can see it's super reflective. And I know it looks really dark, but when I put it on my cheekbones, it doesn't look dark at all. Like, it looks so pretty. I'll use it in some more tutorials. Shall I apply some? I'll apply some. I've already got some highlighter on, but hopefully you can still kind of see. It gives you a little hint of like a sun-kissed glow, and then like that highlight, you can see the difference. Next up I'm going to do my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks and I know some of these are limited edition, I just don't remember which but I'm going to show you them all because you could always see if you can find it on like eBay or Amazon or I don't know, something like that. Okay, so I definitely think that this top one is limited edition just because it comes in fancy packaging. Um, Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks are legit, like I love them so much. This one here is in the shade Copper Diamond and then when you combine all of the shades it just leaves you with the most beautiful copper kind of glow. So it's like a copper gold. Next up is bronze. I think this one is definitely a permanent. That's what it looks like by itself. I use these all the time and again, like, you just need the smallest amount. This one is more of a dark bronze shade, but again, you can apply it, like, with a really light hand on the top of your cheekbones and it gives you a really nice glow. And of course, you can kind of, like, tailor where you want your brush to go. So you can just use a couple, or you can use them all, or you can use them as eyeshadows. Next up is beige. And this one here is probably my favorite, I would say. That's how it looks. As you'd expect, it's just a really nice kind of beige skin tone highlight shade. It just looks really natural, but still really pretty because it's got that nice reflection to it. Next, I think this might be limited edition as well. This is called Sandstone. Sorry if you can hear Zeus barking. I think this might be limited edition as well. Um, this one is just, it's almost like a mixture between beige and bronze if you ask me. That's what sandstone looks like down the bottom. Super beautiful. This one is pink quartz. I think this one is permanent as well. It looks really scary, like it's really, really pink. You can use this as a blush or a highlighter depending on which areas you touch with your brush. And that's what it looks like down the bottom. So you can see these are all super reflective. All of these, sorry if I keep looking over here. 
I've got to have like my computer set up so that I can make sure everything's in focus as I'm doing it. And then I have two of these Bobbi Brown highlighters. I think these came out at Christmas time, like last, like the year just been. Um, but these are so beautiful. I'm going to show them to you. Even though they were limited edition, they might bring them out again at some stage. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they do because they are just so pretty. This one is the Highlight Powder in Pink Glow. Mine looks really funny colored, but when you swatch it, it's fine. I don't know what's up with that. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's like a pink champagne. I love it. And then this one is so beautiful as well. I think I use this in like some Christmas tutorials. This is Bronze Glow. And that's what it looks like. It's actually very similar to the Shimmer Broken Bronze if you want like a dupe for it once you mix all the shades together. A couple of Cover FX um, highlight powders. This one is called Moonlight. And then this one here is called Sunlight. And I haven't actually used these on my face yet, but I've swatched them and they look amazeballs. So this one here is Moonlight. These ones are actually a little bit more subtle than some of my other highlighters. They're not as like in your face reflective. They're a little bit more natural but they've still got a little bit of shimmer in them. And then that is sunlight. So you can see it definitely doesn't come off like super dark. Um, I love both of them and I can't wait to try them out on my face because they just swatch so good. If you've been watching me for ages, like especially when I lived in Auckland, you guys know this was like my go-to, like one of my favorites. I don't use it that often anymore just because like I was so addicted to it for so long that I kind of like wanted to try other stuff. But I still love it. This is the Stila Luminizer and Kitten. So that's what both shades look like. So there's a more bronzy one and then there's a more pinky champagne. And then if you mix them both together, it's just like the perfect, I don't even know what. It's just so beautiful. Next up, I have a couple of Chanel highlighters. I think both of these were limited edition, so you probably can't really get them anymore. Um, this one is the Powder de Chanel Illuminating Powder. I don't know what the shade is, but it looks like that. It's just a really pale kind of pinky champagne. It's really beautiful. Um, I don't really reach for it that often. I don't know why. It's really, really pretty. And then the other one I have is my favorite Chanel one. This is the Camellia de Plumes. Loving my French. It was limited edition. It looks like this. I haven't really used it that often. I've only used it maybe two or three times. That's what that one looks like. It is so intense. It's almost like a silver highlight and it's almost got like a tinge of gold and silver and beige. <laughs> I really need to use it some more, but I guess I just don't really use it that often because you can't get it anymore, so I feel bad. I've got a ton of NARS ones. Um, I've got two of the new, what are these even called? <laughs> Dual Intensity Blushes. Um, I actually have more than this, but these ones I keep in my highlighting drawer because I use them for highlighting. So that is how they look. This one here is called Jubilation. This one here is called Frenzy. So obviously this side is the highlight side. <laughs> You can use these wet or dry, which I think is really, really cool. And this is just the most amazing kind of peachy highlight shell, shell shade color. And then the Jubilation Duo. That's how they look just there. And then I have NARS Reckless. This was limited edition. I can't remember what collection it came out with. To be honest, I don't use this very often. I feel like I could actually use it in some like certain tutorials. Like I feel like you need a certain kind of makeup look to pull it off. It is a glittery light lavender pink. I also have Satellite of Love, which I think this is permanent. I can't really remember. Um, this one, I bought it online and to be honest, I should probably give it away to somebody else that will like it more than me because it is just so sheer. It's not very reflective. It's probably better, it's probably better as a blush, like it is technically a blush, but it's not really pigmented for my skin tone as a blush. Maybe on super fair skin, I don't know. And then this duo in Hungry Heart. You can barely see that on my arm. It's very similar to my skin tone, but it's got quite a lot of glitter in it, so I kind of go for this one if I want more of a glittery finish on my skin, which I sometimes do like that look. If you don't like glitter, you will not like this. It's definitely pretty glittery. And then the last one, of course, is Albatross. This is like their cult favorite. Um, it's basically just a white kind of gold, yellowy, golden shade. That's what it looks like there. This definitely works better on medium to darker skin tones. On me, it's like borderline, like I can get away with it. But I don't really use it that often because I just don't really like it on my skin. But a lot of people love this one. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Or if you don't want to spend the money on NARS but you still want to get that same effect, this is e.l.f. Got a Glow. This one actually works better on slightly paler skin tones because it's not as golden. You can see just there. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. <laughs> it's a little bit paler and a little bit less full on gold. It's got a little bit more like white gold to it rather than just being like super, super golden. Next, I've got some MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, of course. These are super, super popular. This one here is called Perfect Topping. The lighting is out of control. 
probably good for the... No, that's not good. So that's what perfect topping looks like on the top of my hand. I don't reach for that one very often. Don't know why I've had it for ages. I just, I don't know. This one is called Light Scapade. This is perfect for super, super fair skin because it's super pale. It's just a really pale, oh gosh, this lighting. That's how it looks there. It's just a really pretty kind of champagne glow. My favorite and the very first one I ever got and look how much I still have left. Like how impressive is that? This is Soft and Gentle by MAC and it's a kind of bronzy highlight. That's how it looks like down the bottom. It's definitely my favorite. It's one of my favorite all time bronzers. I mean highlighters. And then the other one, this was limited edition, but it comes back every now and again. This is definitely defined and it's one of their like 3D extra dimension um, highlighters. And it is super super metallic and it's kind of like a rosy bronzy color, like a little bit more pinky than soft and gentle. Another favorite of mine is Mary Lou by The Balm. This is like the perfect champagne glow. That's what it looks like there. It is a lot more pigmented and a lot more reflective than a lot of other highlighters. So it's not for the faint hearted. It's for people that love that like super 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 intense highlight. And then I've also got Cindy Lou which I barely ever ever use. If I ever do use it, I use it on top of my blush. This is more of like a pinky, peachy highlight shade. Really beautiful on darker skin. Otherwise, if you're paler like me, oh man. If you're paler like me, it's definitely better used laid on top of blush. Just for like a bit of a glow on the cheeks. Next up is a Burberry one. I splurged on this one. Kind of regret it just because I don't reach for it very often. It is called Gold Number no. 1 Gold Glow. It smells so expensive. It smells like Burberry perfume. I find it very similar to the e.l.f. one to be honest, except it's a little bit more glittery. I don't know. It just doesn't faze me very often. I kind of wish that I sent it back, but too late. Next up is a blush actually by Etude House, which is a Korean brand. It is the Blooming Shimmer Blusher in Coral Spectrum, but it works really, really well as a highlight shade. So I usually just kind of aim it down here, and then the color looks like this. It is so pretty. It's the perfect pinky, peachy highlight shade, and then you can mix the darker shades and put it on your cheeks as a blush. I love it so much. The packaging is pretty cute. It's a little bit like cheap looking because it's like plasticky but it's cute nonetheless. Next I have a couple of Chi Chi highlighters and these are really good dupes for the Shimmer Bricks by Bobbi Brown. This one here is called Bronze Wall of Shimmer and it's just like the bronze shimmer brick. And here they are next to each other, just so you can see. And the pigmentation is like identical, so I should have said that when I swatched the others. If you don't want to splurge on Bobbi Brown, check out Chi Chi first. And then the other one is my favorite. This is the Natural Wall of Shimmer and it's more of a golden kind of champagne shade. That's how it looks just there. Next up we have a Bare Minerals Duo Highlighter. This is called the Ready Luminizer in the Love Affair slash the Shining Moment. So it's like a duo. Those are what the shades look like separately. And then if I mix them together, that's what it looks like. It's a very sun-kissed kind of luminizer. Like if you want that bronzed sun-kissed glow, this is perfect. I find these powders super, super smooth as well. They're super easy to blend and there's like no chunkiness or chalkiness to them at all. They just like glide on so beautifully. And then the other kind of bare minerals like highlighter, this is Clear Radiance and it's one of their loose powders. And it's basically just a really soft pink highlight shade. I actually just got this in the mail today because I only ordered it like last week. That's what it looks like there. So you can actually use this as a blush as well. It's like a satin like metallic finished pink color. Next up we have the It Cosmetics. Um, Hello Light Illuminating Powder. This is what it looks like. I haven't used this yet. This is new as well. I know it seems crazy like how many highlighters I have and a lot of them probably look very similar but that's just my passion and my hobby and my job as well. So it's good to be able to try out tons of different brands even if the colors are similar just to report back to you guys and let you know what's really good and what's better. This color is so pretty. It's so reflective. Check that out. I cannot wait to put this on my face. It looks so nice. I also recently got the Josie Moran Illuminating Veal. This is what it looks like. This one is actually um, quite sheer. It's almost one of those powders that you could use all over your face if you wanted a really dewy finish rather than just a highlighter. Or if you just wanted a really subtle highlighter, you could just put it on your cheekbones. This one here is by Kiko and it's their Mosaic like Illuminator. You may have seen me use it in a tutorial. I didn't really like it on my cheekbones because it wasn't intense enough. However, I really liked it to highlight my nose because it was such a subtle kind of glow. That's what it looks like there. It does have a glow to it, but when you look at it, just like straight on, it almost looks matte. It's one of those very natural looking highlighters. And then this one by, I can't remember how to pronounce it. You guys taught me how to say it, but I've forgotten already. Jouer, 
Jue, is that how you pronounce it? Um, and it is the Luminizing Brightening Powder. It's so tiny, like I was kind of bummed when I saw it, like how big it was, but at the same time, perfect for travel. And again, this is a kind of like sun-kissed peach highlighter. It actually looks so beautiful. When I first watched it, I was like, eh. But when you actually imagine like what it's gonna look like on your cheekbones, because I haven't actually used it yet, um, I just feel like it's gonna look beautiful. So I can't wait to test it out in a video. I'll definitely use it in a video for like some kind of like glowing look. This highlighter here, I've actually been leaving it out on top of my desk because I have a certain look I want to use it for. Um, it's really out there. It's by the brand Cleo, and it is the Art Highlighter in Soft Pink. And this is another Korean brand, and it is just a really reflective pink. Kind of like that Artist Couture shade, but I don't know, I just have like a certain look I want to use this for. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know when I'm going to film it yet. It could be like weeks away, but I've, I've got something in mind for it. Another favorite, and like this used to be raved about years ago on um, YouTube. I've actually had this for quite a while now. This is the Dior um, Amber Diamond. Yes, Amber Diamond Highlight Powder. I like to just swatch the lighter shades, and that's what it looks like. It's just a really beautiful, light, kind of copper, shimmery effect. Now, this one is, like, out of this world expensive. This took me a long time to finally, like, build up the courage to press it to cart. And then press check out, because half the time I added it to my cart and then deleted it because it was so pricey. Um, this is by the brand Claire de Pau. Claire de Pou? Claire de Pau? I don't know. But it's the Luminizing Face Enhancer in number 13. And it looks like this. It's super beautiful. I bought it off Nordstrom. And I love it so much. But oh my goodness, it is so pricey. Like, like you can feel the money when you swatch it. Like, it is so beautiful to touch. It's so smooth and so blendable. But I feel so good when I wear it on my face. Do I think it's worth the money? Probably not. The packaging is amazing and the product is amazing. But, like, seriously, you could get the same thing for cheaper. But, I mean, I'm happy I have it. I'm going to use it up. Eventually, I mean, it takes forever to go through highlight powders. And then the last thing I have is one of my ultimate favorites as well. I believe I use this. I believe I used this in my last bridal makeup tutorial. I think this is Kevin Kwan um, Candlelight Celestial Powder. It is so beautiful and just like perfect. Like, it is the perfect champagne glowing color. It's so beautiful and you can really build it up to be really intense, or you can wear it really naturally. I definitely highly recommend this. It's one of my favorites as well. I cannot believe I just did that. That took forever. So yeah, please let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Like truthfully, honestly, let me know what you thought. Or if you think I can improve the video, let me know how I can improve these videos. But please be realistic. Like I'm not going to go like wearing every single highlighter on my cheeks. That would take so long and my skin would hate me. Anyway, I hope it was helpful. Let me know down below what your favorite highlighter is. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! my tight line and I'm also covering up the lash band where I put my eyelashes on just so you can't see the glue you know what I'm saying now I'm going back in with this amazing palette contouring my nose just a tiny tad bit it's so crooked that I can't straighten it to save my life and then I'm using a little bit of a highlight powder on the center of my forehead just to bring some light to that area because we all know my foundation is 20 shades too dark for me today and then